Hey, hello everyone, this is Animation4, and welcome to the fourth dev vlog for Influx 2. Um, so here I actually am lying in this bed. I think this is actually really cool. It's an armor stand facing its head upwards, uh, wearing an iron plate body. Uh, you stack it on top of a bed, and you kind of can't really see the iron plate body unless you look really close there. And it kind of looks just like shoulders under the sheets. It lo looks really cool. Um, so I actually have a few of these inside these rooms, um, all with different heads, um, yeah, and this is inside the special laboratory down in the basement. I actually had this for last, last update, I just didn't show it off. Uh, what I have done is this building right here, um, <laughs> it, it's okay, it could, definitely could be better, but it's okay. Simple chapel, it's got a nice basement down there. Some stained glass windows, you know, a big church bell at the top. And I kind of have had more thoughts about what this village is going to be. Not really a change of thought, but more specific thoughts. Um, so basically, you're going to come out. It's going to look exactly like it does now. Um, everyone's going to be pretty much normal. There are some fairly strange people in this village, but they're all going to be pretty normal. And it's going to be pretty much noon. And as the time goes by at like certain intervals, everything's going to change. Um, so like when it sun starts to set, the village is gonna change. It's gonna be this. You're gonna get all, hey, you're gonna be all dizzy. You're gonna snap back. Everything's gonna be different. Kind of like semi decayed, I think, um, but also just kind of weird. So, see how I can get that to work. And everyone's gonna start acting differently. Um, you're gonna be able to tell, like they kind of. Before they were just acting like regular people, now they start being a little edgy. Uh, and there's going to be a third chain, or a second, third stage on second change. That's when it gets dark, and everything's going to be totally freaky. The buildings are going to be crazy. Everyone is going to basically be zombified. Talk about that tower right there. Um, and obviously, this is a timed thing. You ha you're basically forced to stay in this village by a guard that's going to be right here. And I have the barriers set up for that. I actually went through and buried everything. Um, so you're going to be forced to stay here until that time passes. At which point you'll just be able to leave. Because this guy will just be blabbering on about whatever. And you kind of head in this general direction. There's a little bridge. You see the tower. Um, this is not what the tower is actually going to look like. This is just a size representation. Make sure you could see it from over there. They have to make it like two blocks taller maybe. Uh, but you cannot actually approach the tower. This fence is impassable. Hopefully they don't change the collision boxes. Um, you're right. The idea is that you actually enter this building right here. And this has something really cool I figured out. This was my happy little accident. Um, so I was trying to get... This, there needs to be a portal inside this building. Uh, so I was just going to use an end portal. But that was kind of annoying because then you go to the end and I don't want that. So I had a happy little accident when I actually placed down the end portal and accidentally traveled into it to the end. Uh, so I had to get out of the end, so I slash killed the ender dragon, and it spawned the net, the end portal that's there, to the portal, to the end city place. And I'm like, that is a cool block. What if I use that for the portal? Great decision. It was an amazing decision. Not only that, but it's actually a passable block. So check this out. You can actually go inside of it. Those beacons would not actually show. Um, but this is actually a big tube um, with obsidian on the sides because the blocks are totally impassable. Blocks are surrounded on all sides. You fall down this tube. You would enter here. You'd fall straight down. Those blocks start whizzing by. You'd pass through this thing and everything would go black. But it's just so crazy. Look at this. It's Oh my god, it's beautiful. Um, and there'd be something to keep you in the center so you don't actually land on these uh, end bricks. Because you can right now. Uh, but this, this I think this turned out really cool. This won't be here originally. Or you won't see it originally. It'll be covered. And you do some stuff inside this building and it'll uncover itself. And you fall in. And that's where the actual map would take place. After you fall through that portal, everything will cut to black. And you will wake up in basically the map. So I'm saying this is the the pre-map kind of um, but once you get there there's just a bit of dialogue and then you basically just handed the first wall because you've gone far enough 
Uh, so that's the progress. I really am looking forward to some of the ideas I've had. If you have any on how this village you think should be run, or anything I can do with the tower, how the tower should look, because I really have no idea. It's going to be a creepy wizard tower, is my is my thoughts. Um, or anything about this village, just, just let me know. And yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, st still, progress is going slow. I've had some other stuff going on, but progress is still definitely moving. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you're excited. Bye-bye.